Welcome to this ID demonstration. We're going to show you how an adversary in the middle attack is carried out. In this demonstration, you will see how this attack is executed successfully with EvilGenix up against Microsoft Authenticator. Our victim has received this phishing email telling them suspicious activity has been detected and instructing them to click on the link to unblock their Microsoft account. This link unfortunately directs the victim to a fake site. Check the URL in the address bar. Our victim is on login.iidee.com. Suspecting nothing, our victim begins the login process. This is step one of the fish. Here we can see the victim typing in their username and their password. So let's go and see what's happening over in Evil Genix. Evil Genix is an open source phishing kit. It can run on any operating system unrestricted, making this type of attack very easy to execute. As we can see, the hacker has managed to successfully capture the username and password. Because the hacker now has these credentials, in this scenario, they're able to use these to log in on the real Microsoft website. Likewise, they could also try these credentials on other accounts owned by the same victim. Because there is multi-factor authentication in place, our victim has already received a push notification to their second device in order to authenticate the login. The victim still doesn't realize there is any foul play at hand, so naturally approves the push just as they ordinarily would do. Our victim is now going to be presented with the fake welcome page and is still none the wiser. Back over in Evil Genix, our adversary can now see that the authentication action has taken place. This is step two, and at this point, the attacker already has everything they need. They have stolen the authentication token. Here we can see the sessions. Line 42 is the session that we've just watched. And now we can move on to the final step, which is for the hacker to simply copy this authentication token and come over to the real Microsoft website. Using a simple cookie editor, see how easy it is to now delete the existing session cookie and add the stolen authentication token. A quick refresh of the browser, and now the attacker has gained full access to the victim's account. They can now perform a complete account takeover and they have a wide open opportunity to start spreading malware or infected ransomware files amongst a whole host of other malicious activity. Unfortunately, even with MFA in place in this instance, an adversary in the middle attack is still possible. The credentials and authentication token was still intercepted and the account was breached. As you can see, first generation push is not immune and cannot fully protect users from all types of credential phishing or password-based attacks. For full protection, users should use fish-proof MFA, such as Authn by ID.